So I know you enjoy bow hunting. And we practice. We practice shooting at, at targets with dots and all different kinds of targets. But what really matters is where do you hold on a deer? You want a clean, humane kill. And if I took 10 bow hunters and handed them this arrow and said, so where exactly is the best place to kill this deer? A whole bunch of them would say, well, nowhere's near here or here because, you know, there's the deer's shoulder. And so it has to be behind, maybe back in right here on the one third line, you know, one third of the way back the deer. Well, the fact is, I'm going to tell you the truth and I'm going to teach you how to make perfect kill shot every time. So Brian Johnson from Revolution Taxidermy developed this perfect form on a white-tailed deer that's an instructive tool. It's going to teach you where to shoot on a white-tailed deer. And I'm going to show it to you. Let's talk about the broadside shot. We all want a broadside shot. You know why? Because it gives a good opening, a good field of view of the internal organs. And here's the biggest problem everyone has when they're shooting a deer. They think everything, this is the scapula, the humerus, they think everything in front of this is a no-go zone. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let me show you something here. Here it is. And here is the scapula, here's the humerus, but look what's right behind it. In this V is half of the lungs and the heart. This is the ten ring. This is good country here for, for an arrow shot. But he made it even simpler. He took the three different axes that you have on a white-tailed deer with height, width, and depth. And he figured out the exact center point that sits in here halfway down from the spine to the sternum, halfway across the lungs. It comes up just behind the heart. And he imagined there was a marble size aim point there. Center kill technology. Here's where that marble aim point, where your aiming spot is. It's right in here in the center of the deer. And it never moves, no matter what you do. This is still your aim spot. And so, let me show you what happens when you shoot this deer from a broadside shot and you shoot him from here. My goodness, look, you don't want to shoot him back here at the 12th rib. You're missing all the lungs. You're one third back's a loser. You want to be up here just above the leg just to the rear, this is where you want to shoot. This gives you the greatest ability for a kill shot, the greatest likelihood for a kill shot. If you're a little bit high, low, front, back, up or down, you're right here in the center. You're going to get lungs. You might get a piece of the heart. You're going to be right on the money. And you see this, this uh, shoulder bone? Only if you're shooting only if you are shooting an open on contact broadhead, which has bad penetration typically, I would tell you to avoid this. Most broadheads, I shoot a swacker, most broadheads blow right through this scapula. It's thin. So even if you have to angle through the scapula, you're still good. Let me show you the aim points. This right here is the perfect broadside shot right there, right down here in the front, straight above the leg. Perfect broadside shot. You're going to hit this aim point, the center kill shot, if you hold right there. What if you're in a tree stand? That gets a little more complicated. You can't hold down here at this old aim spot that you had from the ground to hit this marble 
because the angle has changed. Here's the new angle, look. You have to hit this deer way up here, broadside, and the arrow will pass through, hit this marble, because the marble is right here, just behind the heart, inside of the, right laying against the heart on the back side. Your angle has now moved up the side of the deer, it's no longer down here, it's up here. But the arrow has passed through lungs all the way through, down here right behind the heart, collapses both lungs. You know why a whitetail drops? He drops because last breath he took on earth was right before that arrow went through him. His lungs collapse. When his lungs collapse, his blood pressure radically drops he loses consciousness and he goes down. So when you see a real deer, a buck or a doe walking around under your tree stand, don't waste your time looking at the deer. Look at this spot. Imagine this center kill technology, this kill spot that sets right inside, right inside of this deer's vital organs just behind his heart and make sure that your aim point is to take him up quick and humanely. The broadside shot, that's this week in the Whitetail Woods. <laughs>